welcome everyone thank you so much for joining in so today as you can see guys we are going to start this analysis by looking at the price action of bitcoin in a daily time frame because in a daily time frame we are seeing some sort of a beery scenario playing out but i say to you guys there are some certain line of support that is actually holding the price and we are also expecting some sort of a relief rally to occur but if you look at this overall market structure here in a daily time frame you can see this crossover here when this red line which is 50 exponential moving average and the green line that is 21 exponential moving average so whenever we see this 21 exponential moving average crossing over the 50 exponential moving average that is actually a very 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 scenario because in the past bitcoin price action right whenever we have seen this kind of crossover appearing that has led to some very very massive price correction we were aware of that because i showed you so many different examples and after that what happened with price action right but if we look at this price structure here what we can also do is we can look at this rsi to confirm this reversal here what we are witnessing and also this t3 cci indicator because right now if we look at this rsi line the rsi line when we had this crossover right when we had this crossover of 21 exponential moving average crossing over 50 exponential moving average you can see exactly after that area the price started hitting in a downward direction and not only that the rsi started going below 50 level so rsi going below 50 level this bearish crossover and also look at this this t3 cci indicator is in a negative territory and that also actually indicated hey there was probability of a price pullback and this is what we also witnessed so far but still even though we are seeing this bearish scenario playing out for bitcoin in a daily time frame we are expecting some sort of a relief rally to occur at least around this moving averages line because this scenario has played out many times guys you can see when you see three confirmation of moving averages rsl line and t3 cci for example you can see here this was also a bearish crossover if you look at the price but still after a few days price started hitting an upper duration right but if you look to the downside the rsl line was actually pointing in the wrong direction i mean the momentum was actually going from bearish to bullish right because it was going above this 50 line and also if you look to the downside this t3 cci also starting to appear in the positive territory so that's why this crossover was invalid but if we go back here and look in 2020 march you will see similar scenario unfolded here when we had this crossover exactly after this crossover price started correcting and also look at this rsi line started hitting to the downside and this 33 cci was also in a clear negative territory so that was actually a pretty nice indication the price of bitcoin in a daily time frame was very very weak before seeing this price pullback so right now as we are aware we are witnessing a pretty similar scenario and we have also seen this massive price pullback right so we are aware now the price of bitcoin could see some sort of a relief rally but overall structure is weak because we know this is also playing out parallelly i mean this is a wyckoff's distribution phase and according to this wyckoff distribution phase you can see this distribution schematic event and phases from wyckoff actually showed us that hey since the price here is now hovering around this support line trying to re-enter it any sort of a rejection from this line could indicate some bearish reversal and we are aware i showed you with this example in daily time frame price is actually showing weakness because indicator is still flashing a bearish crossover rsi is still below 50 level and also this t3 cci is in a negative territory but we are still actually expecting some sort of a relief rally to occur before choosing a trend duration as i've already said you so that's why before we see this relief rally what we have to overcome this line which previously acted as a support is going to be one very very strong resistance line and we are aware of that so now for us in a short term our first upward price target is going to be this 43,000 price level the second target here according to this distribution phase from wyckoff could be around 45,000 price level so now we are aware this 43 resistance line and 45,000 resistance line is one very very strong resistance area and that could also be looked as our potential upward price target right if you are going to break and find support with then i'm actually expecting this price to see an impulsive move towards this 48,000 price level because as i've already said you guys 48,000 is one very very important line we have to capture if the train he wants to continue in up duration but right now as you can see so far this line here is one very very strong resistance line so any sort of a stronger rejection between this 43 to 45 000 then we have to be careful the price here could see another 
pullback type of scenario because this here is exactly what this distribution schematic of Wyckoff is actually showing up. And also, guys, I would really, really appreciate if you could take just two seconds of your time and destroy that like button. And for those individuals watching this for the first time, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can see guys for me right now if you look at the price structure using the cpi indicator first target downward target has been triggered second downward target has also been triggered and this third downward target has also been triggered and now since this was the lowest what the price of bitcoin could go according to the cpi indicator for this may month i said you guys we could be expecting some relief rally and now this relief rally is also what we are witnessing but we know we have to be careful because around this 43 to 45 thousand we do have a very very strong resistance line we are still expecting some relief rally to occur before choosing a trend direction because the reason why i'm actually calling for this relief rally is because this here was the monthly s1 line this was the monthly s2 line and this was the monthly s3 line right the downward price target and since the price here after testing the final destination for this may month which was at 30,400, we got a recovery phase right and this recovery phase what we are witnessing also brought us back above this monthly s2 line that is sitting around 38,700 price level so right now at any cost right at any cost the price here has to stay above 38,000 price level and if that is going to happen and we are going to consolidate somewhere around this price level that should be absolutely fine because after that we could see some impulsive move and price trying to test this monthly s1 line and this monthly s1 line is at 48,000 price level that's why i'm saying you the 48,000 price level could be on the line before choosing an actual trend direction because as i've already said you rejection from this 43 to 45 thousand could also indicate hey now the trend could be weakening and this relief rally is about to end without even testing this 48 thousand price level here to the upside and also if you look at this price structure in a smaller time frame let me show you why we are actually expecting some sort of impulsive move to follow very very soon for bitcoin if you look at this in another way you can see here very very simple way of looking at price action guys right now what we want at any cost is to break out of this upper line area of this descending channel because we are aware this upper line area of the descending channel acted as a strong resistance and right now where we are you can see we are again approaching the upper line area in the past bitcoin price action upper line area acted as a resistance lower line area acted as a support so now what we want the price of bitcoin to at any cost break out of this upper line area because if that is going to happen if we are going to break out of this upper line area then we could see some impulse move following for bitcoin but rejection here again from this upper line area could mean another pull back type of scenario but we are aware 38,000 around that label we do have a strong support and now if we look here what we can simply do here guys is we can simply add this ascending channel again this ascending channel lower line is a very strong support at this current state so let's switch this into hourly time frame because i want to show you guys in hourly time frame the price here is actually flashing a very very interesting scenario let me delete this and show you guys only here using this ascending channel so now you can see we said hey the price here could be forming another ascending channel just like with the previous example right and any sort of a pullback we are aware the lower line here could be acting as a strong support and after that we could see again some impulse move following for bitcoin but if you look at the price structure here guys now what i'm actually trying to show you here is because i showed you just recently the upper line here from this channel is actually holding the price and it's not letting price to break out of it now this is a very very interesting scenario why because you can see here this top here right if you look at the price structure you can see resistance resistance support support and now we are also at this same trend line which previously acted as a resistance and also as a support so we are forming this very very interesting scenario because now we are at the final moment so any sort of a consolidation and breaking out of this falling trend line or the upper line of this descending channel then that could actually indicate some very very impulsive move to follow for bitcoin and we could actually test this 43 to 45 thousand price level so at any cost right now we have to stay above this 38 thousand price level and if that's going to happen then we might test this 43 and also 45 thousand price level resistance from this wake of distribution phase and if we are lucky enough guys we are breaking out of this line then we could also test this 
monthly S1 line that is sitting around 48,000 price level before choosing an actual trend duration for Bitcoin. So these are some of the scenarios I thought sharing with you in today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this video was helpful enough. If that's the case, then please hit the like button. And for those individuals watching this for the first time, hit that subscribe button and the bell. So by saying this, I'm signing out. My name is Anoop. Bye-bye, guys.